Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about MASH function, which helps to find out the relative position of a lookup value in a given range of cell. It returns the position occupied by the lookup value in that given range. By the help of the MASH function, we can fix any cell position and use that with the index function and also the in the VLOOKUP function with a proper output. So today we are going to talk about another powerful function inside of a Z called if error with VLOOKUP function. So let's take a look at a at one more of this conditional logic based function. Now I'm going to give you a quick look to peek into a function that we have talked about in my previous video which deals with VLOOKUP or the vertical lookup. Now, open it in front of me, I see got sample 5 of an employee basic P which I am going to use to create VLOOKUP function and then walk through it and create if error function so be but 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 now let's first talk about the if error function no matter how careful you happen to be with within the excel you are going to run into errors at some point whether it is a misspelled function or function name or it is an incorrect range of cell that was selected when the function was created or whether it is proper input that was in that was put into the document itself and later edited that then mess up with the formula or let's say what whatever it happens to be maybe somebody deleted content that the previous formula needed and because of that the content is no longer around and therefore the original formula now fails or it breaks so we are going to take a look at how we can display something useful if there is a, an error by customizing the error message all right inside of excel there are a handful of different type of error however the argument of the if error function uh the the, the first one is that the we normally have the value and this shows a value or reference or formula to check for an error and we normally have another function argument which is the value if error so that one it shows the value to return if an error is found now let's delve into how to use if error with vlookup in excel if error with VLOOKUP in Excel is very simple and easy to use, but first, let's understand the working of if error with VLOOKUP in Excel using sample template I have before me here. All right, let's us take an example of the basic pay of the employee of a company, and in the above example five, we have a list of employee ID. Then we have also have employee names and what employee basic pay so now we want to search the employee name with respect of what the employee id here using the word the vlookup function if you recall in my previous video i have explained how to use how to use or perform vlookup function inside of a z so i'm going to do that here again so i want to find the employee name here yeah, bearing the, the employee ID. Um, okay, let me pick 269, which is what Christine. All right, using the word the VLOOKUP function. So, first step the first step is that you we have, uh, I will click on the cell G, G5. You can see cell G5. Hmm? Because that is the cell where I want the employee name to return for me. So step two is that. So I will go to navigate to the formula tab right up here. You can see. So give it a click, then locate 
lookup and reference you can see then give it a click so then the step is that so you select the vlookup in well from the drop down list here you can see it here so just give it a click where where we will need to input the string of letters and numbers here. so now in the lookup value so i'm going to select the cell f5 here you can see cell f5 here because that is the employee ID that I want to I want the VLOOKUP to find the name for me or return. So now in the table hurry, so I'm going to select the whole data including what the head, including the head by holding on to what the control shift down, then drag it to the one to the right so i'll be able to select all the table hurry because that is where the data source of the world the employee name can be the located so in the number and uh, in the index column number i'm going to type two all right so why do i get to two because i've already explained in my previous two so this is so i'm going to count the number of rows which is what one and two so i can find because i can we can find the employee name in the column number two right here so by counting so i'm going to type two right here good then in the range lookup i will type force force right so i'm going to type force here okay good because i want the exact match or approximately the match of the of the employee name to return from so then i'm going to hit some word okay button so fine you can see that this we locate this we locate the value of the view local which is what christian i'm looking at you can you check it right from the word the table source i employ hide two system now it returned what the christian for me so that is how the view local functions works now the for, to work for the on this the if error on the other hand for F, for error to occur in the cell G5 right here. Now I'm what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the employee ID. Let's say let me let me check it word because to see this one this is two systems. So let me check it word 500. Okay, you can see that and um, the error message came out right here, but that employee ID is not present in the list here if you check it so we can't find 500 from the word employee hiding now we are going to we are getting a standard error message which is what this cannot be found here that is not what i actually want the message to go to be listed. so i do i don't i don't want to this standard this standard error message so i want i want that to say something like data doesn't exist or employee ID wasn't found or I want something a little more descriptive to present to the user rather than this really generic out of the box error message that is a speed out to us. So it is better to replace the this error message here with a customized value so that everyone can understand why the error is coming. So we will use if error with vlookup function in a z in the following way now to customize the error message so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to click on the word the say g5 you can see so i'm going to navigate to, to function formula bar uh, box here where the word the vlookup formula are shown so what i'm going to do right here now then so i'm going to go to then um, I'm going to type, uh, type if error, then open up my parentheses. So good. So now, then I'm going to going to then eat on this FX ball FX function here. So now this and uh, take me to the VLOOKUP argument, which is not what i actually want so i'm good now i'm going to navigate to the world the, uh, the, the formula bar box where the vlookup formula are shown 
here so you can see so now here so i'm going to click in between the word the if error you can see this takes us over to the if error argument window where we can customize error message here now okay so then i'm going to type what what uh, what i want my customer customized errors message to display if there's any in my own case so i'm going to type um, employee let me say employee id wasn't wasn't so wasn't found okay so i'm going to give it a print quote so we're going to give it a quote good so now so i'm going to now hit on ok you can now you can see that my error message now display what employee id was and see if there's any error that come up along this employee id or if we enter any employee id that cannot be found from this table array so this is error that is going to come out for me so however with with a uh, v uh, v lookup with a uh, if error function in a z it helps users to return error message as per the user's choice if any situations occur also the v lookup function lookup at the look up at the value from the selected range or tables and return the exact or approximately match but there are some conditions where we end up getting an error if the format of the range is not right or the value not found in that case we the help of, of the word if error function we can set any customized message if the view lookup wouldn't be able to find the value and gives all the error message just try it out open up any zero report file or any official report over to the word to the v over to the word to the v lookup function and fix or customize any error message inside of it thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you giving you more of the Excel function bye